a lot of you young ones was not even around a thought about at the time of when this story came. I remember it. I remember it like it was yesterday because it hit home to me because I was a new mother. But others probably will remember this if you're my age. You remember Susan Smith? She's the one who drowned her boys in South Carolina like 30 years ago. Now she is on a dating thing in jail, however that's even possible. And she says she'd be a good stepmom. She goes on to say that I could see myself around kids this jail. She unalived her two young sons in 1994 and told a male admirer on a recent prison call. This, this is a picture of her today. Back in 1994, toys and photos of Michael and Alex Smith and John D. Long Lake where the boys were left to drown by Susan Smith in 1994. If you don't know anything about this case, educate yourself on it because it's still stuck with me and I'm 50 now. Short version, it was one of the most notorious inmates in South Carolina history. Smith was just 22 in October 1994 when she let her car roll into John D. Lake with her boys still strapped inside. One was in a car seat. Michael, three, and Alex, 14 months. She actually stood back and she watched the vehicle sink into the waters with her drowning babies. Now, she actually falsely told police officers that it was a black man that had carjacked her, and the case became international news. When her story fell apart, Smith was charged with two counts of murder. She was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole 30 years later. I never thought this woman would get out of prison. I never thought this woman would make it to the end of it. She has. She will first be eligible on November 4th, 2024 of this year. And she plans to attend a hearing to request a release. A frequent topic of conversation with her friends, according to the transcripts. Prepare now what you will say when you're given the chance to speak and to plead to the people, Smith's friend Ruth said. Now, the reason she stated she did this is because she said she had postpartum depression. And that which it can last as long as three years after the birth is what this pin now that she's talking about. Here are some of the things they said. It was crazy. I know you ask God for forgiveness and he'll forgive you in the outside world that you have to worry about. We'll keep in my prayers. Meanwhile, get your speech ready for the world where it won't be. But she goes on talking to these gentlemen suitors, I was saying, and telling them how one of them tells her he has children. She says, I'll be a great stepmother. Another one says, well, we can start a family and have more children. What would she do with his kids? And do you believe Susan B. Smith should be let out? I'm curious as your thoughts, if you remember this case. It hit home because I was a new mom at the time. Country crazy album.